Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So today's a quick little project share slash video response, even though Mary Jane said we didn't have to, but um, Mary Jane's review here on YouTube is having a little giveaway for her birthday. It's actually today, the 23rd, so go wish her a happy birthday. But I did go ahead and make this memory decks because that is one of the requirements. Um, sender's choice, and then you either have to send like a memory decks or like a birthday card. So I just did a mem decks, and I figured why not use some of my dies from my design team package, baby's napping, so I get to craft. So here's this giant like cupcake embellishment, and it's a shaker. Oh my gosh, look how cute, you guys. Look at it. So I did the shaker bits in the top, this part, and then this part, and then I left the little slits blank. But how cute is that? Oh, I love it. And it's a good size, and I just staggered it up on this memory decks card. And somebody, I think um, Marilyn asked me to cut this. So you guys, this memory decks card, as you can see, you would think that it cuts the shape of this, but it does not. It cuts literally just the entire frame. So it cuts all the way around skinny like this and then the back piece pops out. So what you have to do is you have to use this, you have to use this heart piece to have the entire shape of the memory decks. So I cut this out in like a polka dot paper, as you can see like right there. And then this cut out, I cut it at 110 pound cardstock in that pink, as you could see it's like stitched around the border. And I glued this onto this piece. You could easily use this part for a shaker and, and do it on top and stuff, but you'd have to like fussy cut other pieces, but you could totally make a shaker technically. So I layered it up on top of there in the pink and then the part that pops out of the center of this, um, I just popped it on the back. As you can see, it doesn't go all the way around. It's kind of just like the piece that falls out, but I did this backing piece so that my, my hearts, you could see pink behind it. It wasn't just see-through and flimsy. So I just put that piece right back on the back. So yeah, I like the way this came out. Um, I did go ahead and cut a square using this cupcake border die right here. So I just got a little square, I cut it on there and I had this square with this top piece and I was like, you know what, let's put that on the memory decks. So I got that square piece and I stuck it and ran it through with this, just this part right here to get that memory memory deck shape right here. And I was able to just pop it on and once I die, cut it through. So that's how I had the cupcake. You can't see the one that's behind this one, but they're layered up right there. It's a little strawberry, or not strawberry, <laughs> cherry. Then I just did some little pom-poms. I stitched this on there. It says one more chapter because it's a birthday, you know. Um, some ribbon. And yeah, I really love that the way this cute little cupcake Memdex came out. And then Sender's Choice, I went ahead and made a mini little loaded bag. I did use that Hooray paper from Tuesday morning. It's so cute. It's by my mind's eye. It's absolutely gorgeous. And I made a, did I say mini loaded bag? So it just has a little MJ right there, Mary Jane, and some goodies in there. Because yeah, I'm trying to, I'm tr really trying to do as many challenges as I can, but it's very challenging when you have three little ones at home. So I'm trying my best, ladies, but yes. Go give her a follow and you have until the 13th to get your entry in. Bye guys.